Hey there, uh, this is Frank with Electric Wheelchair Parts. It was brought to my attention that uh, should do a video on uh, brakes and brushes. Uh, so here we go. Um, the reason why we should do a video about brakes and brushes is because sometimes you get intermittent problems uh, on your chair where you'll start it up and it'll start up fine and then you'll go I mean, you'll stop and you'll turn it off and then you'll go to start it back up again and start up fine. You do that eight times in a row and then the ninth time uh, when you go to start it up, it faults out. It gives you a, a flash code and, and it says that it's one of the motors. And uh, so uh, getting to the brush part about that, uh, the theory, my theory, is... Uh, <clears throat> Well, inside the motor you have a commutator, right? And that sits right about here. And that's where the brush is contacted. And sometimes when a wheelchair sits for a long time, uh, the just by having those brushes in contact with that commutator in the same place for a long, long time, then you'll create like a corroded spot in that spot, that little tiny little spot, you know? So maybe one out of... 20 or you know whatever whatever the ratio is there to get that spot um <clears throat> it's possible that when you start it up it hit that spot and so um uh anyway so that's a whole different ball of wax uh that's you know you probably have to clean that out and you could probably do that right through the hole but uh <clears throat> to check your brushes uh Brushes are located here. This is a, uh, a two pole, meaning it's got two brushes. And so the brushes are located uh, right here. And if you're getting bad uh, performance, uh, you know, and it's sluggish and you smell something or it sounds weird, like there's a, you know, if it sounds weird, like there's a grinding, that's bad, you know, uh, because this is what a brush should look like right here. You know, that's, that's what they should look like. And sometimes, you know, with a lot of use, you know, over time, these brushes wear down, right? And so at the bottom, there's, you know, a mount to it and, you know, where these brushes are mounted to the, to the spring. And uh, when you get down there, it's metal on metal. The brush is, you know, softer than, than the metal on your, on your commutator. And, you know, if, if me it's metal on, excuse me, if it's metal on metal, then... Uh, you're gonna have problems. So uh, if you're having those issues, I would check your brushes. Uh, if uh, if you have an issue uh, like uh, you're driving down the road and, and and this is usually once this happens, it, it, this always starts off slowly. It usually starts off slowly. Uh, you know, you start off and you kind of you feel your chair dragging to one side a little bit, and you don't want to straighten it out, and it just keeps on dragging to the same side. <clears throat> Well, your brakes are designed to uh, always be on, okay? That's their default position. Uh, your brakes are always on. So uh, when you put power to them, as when you're putting power to the motors, then the brake releases, and that's how the brakes work. So it would make sense that if your brake is going bunk on you, uh, you know, and like I said, it usually doesn't happen overnight. Uh, it's usually like a process but eventually it's just gonna go bad and and uh, when they do you know you'll find that you're going along fine and all of a sudden good news you, you know you'll uh, slam and it, it'll it'll pull to one side uh, that's a brake issue and uh, so the brakes are uh, this is pretty common style of motor the brakes are located in the front and Okay, this is a solenoid brake, so uh, this is the brake. And a lot of times when you have, okay, so to explain, uh, all these motors have brakes. However, uh, some of them have the, your brake switch, your freewheel switch on the brake itself, right? So you're, you're adjusting the brake. This one, this, just imagine there's a handle that goes up and over, you know, a little L handle. 
and you move this. So this engages and disengages the gearbox. So on this model, there is no micro switch. Usually there's a micro switch if you have the handle on the brake. Uh, it'll be a handle and, and you know, if you switch it, you know, up and down, cling, cling, it'll put you in the gear and out of gear. And the same thing with this. This does it, this lever does it with the gearbox and a lot of them do it straight with the brake. And when they do it with the brake, they usually have that in conjunction with uh, our earlier uh, video. Uh, they have it in conjunction with a micro switch. So if I say micro switch, uh, when it's associated with your brakes, I mean, it's, it's a little tiny switch and just go to the other video and it'll be mounted on your brake. And when, and when you move the lever, it'll engage and disengage the switch. So anyway, that's where the brakes are located. And um, Sorry for the noise. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much it. That's, uh, you know, and so if you have uh, bad brushes, you can get brushes through us. If you have a bad motor, you can get motors through us. Um, it, ooh, um, since I'm looking at it, uh, this one doesn't. But uh, there's a, often uh, times people go, oh, my, my motor's bad. It's, it's leaking oil <clears throat> out of the gearbox. It's not bad. It's just leaking oil out of the gearbox. And when they put oil in the gearbox, they're not putting oil in the gearbox. They're putting grease in the gearbox. And over time in certain climates, all like Florida and other climates, and it depends on the type of grease they put in, honestly, uh, whether it breaks down or not. Sometimes they just use grease that unfortunately broke down. And when it breaks down, it turns to oil. And, you know, and then oil will start to seep out. Uh, you know, this is gasketed, but it will still seep out. And, you know, I've had uh, where we ship where we ship these off and it was just like this where these holes were open. And then uh, the carrier held it upside down, you know, uh, transported it upside down and the oil leaked out, you know, and, uh, and uh, they said it was a bad motor. It wasn't, it was just, you know, the, the stuff turned to, to oil and it leaked out because the male people had it upside down for the ride. But um, that's a different thing. I mean, if you want to uh, fix that situation, you'd have to take it off, take this top plate off, Turn it upside down, drain all the oil out. If you really want to get fancy, you can go in there and scoop all the old stuff out. Then put some, some high temperature, like bearing grease in there. Uh, make sure you cover the gears. You don't need to just pack it in there. Just cover up the gears, you know, use a liberal amount and, and you're good to go. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Let's see here. Uh, yep. That's it. So uh, I hope this helped a little bit. My name is Frank. Electricwheelchairparts.com. 1-800-717-1252. Uh, if you have any questions at all about motors or anything, like I said, uh, we have a good supply of used motors. Um, and, you know, if, if you have uh, uh, motors like this, we have the, uh, we have the brake uh, assembly. And so if you have any questions, give me a call. I hope this helped. Thank you. Thank you.